Hi, I'm Yasmin Fernandez and I welcome you to my world of cooking in What's Cooking Man? Hi everyone, today it's going to be bread pudding, the traditional type and the caramel bread pudding as well. I'm sure you all are going to enjoy this recipe. It's really wonderful and easy to make. So now let's get on with the recipe. Let me take you all now through the ingredients. We will start with first taking 1 litre of milk. Full fat is always better. I have put 8 to 10 slices of bread in the mixer and made them into crumbs. Also we will require a cupful of sugar, just a pinch of nutmeg, a pinch of cardamom powder, this is entirely optional, and vanilla essence. We will also be using 5 eggs and a 3 fourth cup of butter which I will melt and then add. So let's start. First in a vessel we will break the eggs, all 5 of them and then once the eggs are broken, we shall add the vanilla essence. We are, gen we are little generous with the vanilla essence so that the eggy smell is not there. Add in the sugar and we will now start whisking. Whisk very well till all the sugar has dissolved. Once the dis sugar has dissolved, we will add this mixture to the full fat milk slowly and nicely and give it a good whisk as well. See that the mixture is really well mixed and after that we will take the butter and we will melt it in the micro for about less than a minute. There, can you see we have got 3 fourth cup of melted butter. This also we will add into the milk mixture. And again, like before, give it a good whisk. Whisk it really well. Time to add the breadcrumbs now. A few at a time, first add in just half. Mix them well nicely. And then add in the other half. Keep mixing till everything becomes one nice mixture. Keep it aside now to rest and let's get on with the caramel part. In a small 6 inch tin I have taken 1 fourth cup of sugar which on a medium low flame I will caramelize. There can you see it's already beginning to turn golden. Don't disturb the sugar just turn it around gently very gently and nicely and allow it to become slightly darker. Keep swirling it at intervals till we get a nice lovely color. We are almost there now. Wow, look at that. Now keep the tin aside. After this we will pour in the bread pudding mixture and we will keep this tin to steam for about 20 to 25 minutes. Slowly and gently place your container in a steamer, cover it with the lid, close the steamer and on a medium high flame steam it for 20 to 25 minutes. Let's get the traditional bread pudding ready now. We shall pour the mixture into aluminum trays We'll get around 4 trays from the batter which is remaining. Just fill the trays only up to 3 fourths. Now preheat your oven at 180 degrees and before that just sprinkle in a little nutmeg but this is entirely optional only do it if you want to. At this stage you can even add raisins if you like but I prefer my bread pudding without raisins. So I am just going to sprinkle a little cardamom powder along with the nutmeg 
and then give it just a gentle little stir and get it ready for the oven. The oven has now been preheating for 10 minutes at 180 degrees and we shall put our bread pudding now to bake. There. Let's put the pudding in and we will now bake it for around 40 to 45 minutes or until the pudding turns nice and golden on top. Be patient, do not open the oven in between. Lovely, see, they are already getting ready. Let's go back to the, the caramel bread pudding and it's almost done. Let's open the lid and there, can you see? It's ready. Let's put it aside to cool now. Let the bread pudding in the oven also get ready. Let's change the side now and put it back into the oven. Let it bake gently and nicely. There, lovely. Can you see how beautiful it has become? Back to the caramel bread pudding. Let's flip it and see. Wow, look at that. Isn't it really, really, really yummy? And it tastes yummier. So folks, do like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon and get your comments in. I hope you all have enjoyed this recipe. It's really easy to make and I'm sure you'll enjoy both the types of bread puddings. See, we've got the perfect texture. Lovely. Thank you for watching.